Now let's talk a little more about becoming. Becoming is actually the subject of the first and second noble truths of the Buddha. There is suffering and there is an origin of suffering. And here is the origin of suffering in a diagram of dependent origination. It begins with ignorance and then it goes through all these other stages until it finally reaches suffering. So this is how suffering comes to be. But there's also the third and fourth noble truths of the cessation of suffering and the noble eightfold path which is the method or the way to the cessation of suffering. Now even if you don't know about dependent origination you're actually using this all the time. The Buddha got this theory from observation. He was watching people, he was watching himself and how we become and we become something at every moment. Every moment this process is going on, on different scales. Sometimes it can happen in a matter of microseconds. Other times it can happen in minutes or hours or days or weeks or maybe even many lifetimes that we go through these different stages and we become different things according to our intentions. There is a law the law of dependent origination, the law of kama, or karma. And this is how that law works. It doesn't require some external authority, uh, like a god who looks over your shoulder every minute and writes down whatever you do. <laughs> it's a ridiculous idea. <laughs> who would want to do that? No. The law of kama works through our own being. It works through our own brains and the laws of nature. It's just that Western science is not aware of these subtle laws of being and becoming. If it were, then we could easily turn this into a very scientific theory and prove it, which actually the Buddha has already done. So let's take this wisdom and use it to overcome the problem of suffering. Most people misuse the process of dependent origination. And so when they become something, it winds up in suffering. And when they get to suffering, they say, oh, no, I don't want this suffering. I'll become something else, and that way I won't suffer. So they go back to the beginning, still ignorant of the Four Noble Truths, still ignorant of the laws of dependent origination and so on, and they start the whole thing all over again. And that's why there's reincarnation. That's why people go round and round, huh? Do it again. <laughs> we we'll go in round and round and go back. Jack, do it again until you're sick and tired of it. And that's when you approach the teaching of the Buddha. You say, okay, I'm tired of the suffering. I want it over. I want it finished. And at that point, you become a candidate for the Eightfold Path. That's why in our process of skillful living, we make frequent references to the teachings of the Buddha. Now, times have changed since he gave this teaching. And people's lives are a lot different now than they were then, at least externally. However, the principles of becoming are still the same. And so we're going to use these principles so in the beginning you can achieve satisfaction of being whatever you want, becoming a genius in whatever field you want, whatever your interest is, and attaining satisfaction in life. And from there, we'll go on up the Eightfold Path. So. For our purposes, for applications like learning and leadership, we're especially interested in this part of dependent origination, which we can call the process of becoming. Process of becoming, as you can see, begins with fabrication, and it goes through all these other stages down to birth. Now, this can be literal birth, or it can be the birth of an identity. It can be the birth of a self, a way of looking at yourself or life, a point of view or a feeling or anything else. For the purposes of investigating learning as a process of becoming, however, we will divide the stages a little differently than the Buddha did because his purpose was to bring people right onto the Eightfold Path. Okay, first, we have to cure your learning disabilities. And then we can worry about the Eightfold Path because if not, you're not going to be able to understand it. So we're going to work on 
curing your learning disabilities using the Buddha's technology so that you can attain the success in life that is being denied to you by your miseducation, by your wrong training, by your years of wrong living and bad experience in this world. We're going to turn that around and we're going to show you exactly how to do that.